right, these are dry now. What I'm going to do is come in and do a little shadowing around some of the papers I've just added in. So this is just straight acrylic. And as you can see, I'm working a small section at a time. Just add a little bit of water because it was sitting there from earlier. Just a little bit. Okay, and add some shadows in here. Give some depth. your finger over you can see the acrylics will sink into some of these deeper areas um, they can really add some interesting texture from the layers that you've built up See what happens. Seems to be like a little line. There's a line kind of coming up here. Just building layers. Sometimes when you pull out the paints, um, you can see your finger uh, print on there and you decide if you want to keep that in there or not. I try to you know, pull that away as you can see. There's a line in there from the paper so I'm actually going to play with that line a little bit. See what happens with it. Okay. Now the edge of here, even though the blue is underneath get this shape that's kind of stuck in the middle to stick out a little bit more. And then there's a line here. Just kind of play with that. A little bit. Could have been from the papers underneath. Kind of shadowing around there. Okay, I think that's enough of the shadowing for this one. Maybe a little bit more distinct here. A little bit darker. My fingers end up getting all black. Alrighty. Now let's see about this one here. Right away, I want to come into these circles and add a shadow in there and then kind of pull it out and get it to feather out. So I'll be working on the shadowing here. You gotta watch what angle you come in with this with the acrylics too. A little bit darker because there's a lot going on. There's a lot of shadow here, all these papers layered on top of each other. even play in the letters here if I want a little bit more shadow even the letters I pushed them back but I can even play with some depth in the letters themselves so I push it back then I bring it to the surface again add some depth and 
you see how things start popping out. All right, I'm going to continue um, working on the shadowing, and you'll see where I am. We'll get started. Alrighty. 